Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Yubi video and today I will be showing you how to beat all of Beast East episode 3 all in hard mode from start to finish and the best part, this guide will not include Mystic Flower whatsoever so if you don't have her, no worry, this guide will not be using her on screen right now will be all the cookies with their toppings that I will be using in this video of course, when it comes to the stages themselves, I will elaborate what kind of biscuit that these cookies need, but this will just be a general little guide. So, let's get right into it and start with 3-1, so let's go! 3-1, we will be using this team all the way from 3-1 until 3-9 and on 3-11 as well. So, let me show you how to make this team. Donut, Fettuccine, Rebel, White Lily and Cream Buff. The toppings and biscuits will be as follows. Remember that the substats of the toppings don't actually matter, so you can just put any topping on them whatsoever as long as it's the complete set. So, for Donut, I went for a full cooldown, and if you can, try to go for damage to the substats, but for the past few stages, that won't be needed. For Fettuccine, I went for a full almond, and for the biscuit, I just tried to go for a general mix. This is a very bad biscuit, so you can tell this still works, she will survive. Rebel, I went with a full cooldown set again, and for the biscuit, I went for a damage resist and a cooldown mix. For White Lily, I went for full cooldown and also cooldown on her biscuit, but if she starts to die, feel free to switch to a biscuit with at least a little bit of DR. This one does not have DR. Um, I don't have anybody out here. This one <laughs> would have damage resist. If she feels like she's gonna die, just feel free to switch to a biscuit with damage resist. And then for Cream Puff, very simple, she will be running a full crit set as always. And then for Biscuit, she can use either Damage Resist or Cooldown. She usually won't die, I just had Damage Resist on her for safety. But if you have a Biscuit with some good uh, cooldown subs on them, then you can use that one as well. So, let's get right into the stage. <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Why did my camera take a little trip there? Why did it? <laughs> If you begin to run into trouble of Fettuccine dying, you can replace her with the new cookie or maybe um, Icicle Yeti. Because you can tell mine is getting quite low, but mine has pretty bad substats on her biscuit. So I'm blaming that one. Why are there so many enemies? <laughs> Even then, keep in mind that she keeps herself alive with her skill anyway. So it's fine if she gets low ones. Dash 10. This is the first difficult stage of about three to four more difficult stages in this chapter. So for three dash then, I will be going for a Stormbringer, Fettuccine, Financier, uh, Rebel, uh, not Rebel, <laughs> Brulee and Cream Puff comp. You can switch out the Cream Puff with something like a Rockstar or a Yeti as well and it will work just fine but I like using this. And do keep in mind that here for the treasures you need to use ropes because ropes really helps and the ropes will be going on Brulee and on Stormbringer. How do you do that? Well, for example, Stormbringer, I put some attack speed on her biscuit and that made her take the robes automatically. Do keep in mind, you have to put her on full crits. If you have a biscuit with electric type damage, then she will do even better, but I don't, so I just use this one. Virginia is the same as well, just a full uh, almond set. Then for um, Financier, I used full cooldown and I just focus on cooldown. She doesn't need extra damage because she is tanky enough as is. 
Then for your bullet, very standard, just use a full attack set and as much attack speed or attack as you can. And cream buff is the same as before, a full crit set and then for the biscuit you can either focus on damage resist or cooldown. Either one will work. So let's go. Alright, 3-12. From 3-12 until like 3-24 we will be running this composition. And let me show you how to actually build this. So, Virginie, Yeti, Rebel, White Lily and Frost Queen. A lot of them are the same as before. Virginie, you know the story by now. Full damage resist and have some damage resist on the biscuit. And have a better, better biscuit than this one because this one sucks. Then Yeti, full cooldown. And for the biscuit you want cooldown substats. They are safeguarded, they cannot take damage. Don't put damages on them like me. Don't be stupid, be smart. Thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Rebel, full cooldown again. And for him, I am using like a damage resist and a cooldown mix. This is the one that I happen to use for guild battle, I think. Um, so just make him survive, you're good to go. Here, where Lily, same as before, a full cooldown set for toppings. And then for the biscuit, I am still using a full cooldown liner, but if she is dying, that is very normal, no shame. Just switch it to some damage as a substats, and she will live a little bit better. Then, last but not least, Frost Queen, my queen. Um, for her, a full cooldown set again, and I'm doing a mix of cooldown and damage resist on the biscuit. Of course, if she's taking a lot of damage, add more damage resist. If she isn't, then just go cooldown, go attack, go ham, just go whatever you have. So, let's go right into it. It will be from this stage until the 24th that we'll be using this team all in one go. Let's go. Can you not interrupt me for one time? Please, please, <laughs> please just don't interrupt me again. Thank you. Bye, Rebel. Okay, then. You could probably have timed that better. But, um, 
it worked, so I don't care. <laughs> Pray tell, what is the name of your master? Can I? Please. Ultimately, you want to keep that sword for the last wave. But I used it in the first wave this time. I'm not gonna lie, that timing was atrocious. That timing was atrocious. <laughs> uh, oh well.
25 i will be using this team from 25 until 29 the only difference is that i'm replacing white lily with cloud head data new cookie the toppings too are exactly the same but i will go over it once more for those that didn't watch that part and just skipped here because you can do that if you really want to do so for well, cloud hete mine is pretty low promo but i still use a full cooldown set with uh damages sub stats if you um have a higher promo one then maybe you don't need as much damage assist or if you don't have any promo at all, maybe using a, a damage resist topping set and then cooldown on the biscuit will also work. But I prefer this one instead. Then the rest is the same, but I'll go over it. Virtually need full almonds and then have damage resist and stuff on your biscuit. Again, have a better biscuit than this one because this one sucks. Um, <laughs> Yeti, it will be a full cooldown set and having cooldown on the biscuit. For Rebel, it will be a full cooldown set again, and then having cooldown and damage resist on the biscuit. Of course, if you can't one-to-one -one replicate my biscuits, that's okay, because I know that is very hard. As long as they survive and do their job, it's okay. You don't need to have, like, exactly the same biscuit as I do. And same, Frost Queen, it will be full cooldown, and then with cooldown, attack, DR, subs, whatever make, makes her live. Some people might say, oh, but you have a 5A Frost Queen, like, you, you do, you're winning because of that. No, I trust, I promise you, with a lower cross screen, you can still do this anyway. So don't worry about that. And also, if you if you have Mystic Flower, this becomes a lot easier. Just letting you know, but I don't, so yeah. Okay, let's go right into the stages, and I'll be back to you at the last stage. Let's go.
I don't think I've done much with like. Welcome. Welcome to hell. Oh, it's also called Free Dash 30 Hearts without Mystic Flower. This stage is a lot easier if you have her, but I don't, and I'm making this guide for the people that don't. Um, so I tried to find the easiest way to beat the stage, and it was annoying. The main team that everyone recommended was just not consistent. I could beat it with it, but not in a consistent way. So I opted to replace Yeti in the team they recommend with Cream Puff, and it works a lot better. So I'll go right into the topping for you and I'll just show you how it's done. So it's Storm, Hate. Unfortunately, you cannot replace Hate. Uh, even with um, Fettuccini, you need this thing, unfortunately. The only reason you could replace them is if, if you have um, Mystic Flower. And as you can see, no Mystic Flower. So hey, uh, Financier, Belay, and then of course, Cream Puff. For toppings, it's pretty simple. For um, Stormbringer, you want full crits, but you do want one little line of attack speed because you want her and Brulee to have the ropes. Then, but had the same as before, a full cooldown set, and then focus on damages so they stay alive. Then, Nancier will just be a full cooldown set, and she doesn't need much damages, she will live, so I just focus on some cooldown again. For Brulee, same as before, a full attack set, and just Blast as much attack speed on this man as you can. If you think you have enough, you probably don't. Put more on him. <laughs> and then Cream Puff, of course, you do need a candy. Same for Fenancy, you do need a candy, level 10. Otherwise, I don't think it will work. And for her, I put uh, damages on her because she will be taking quite a bit of damage here. So having some damages on her is definitely the safer route. So let's get right into the stage. This will be the last stage, but we'll finally be done. So let's get into it and let's beat this stupid spider. And that is it! With this video, you have now beaten all of Beasties episode 3. Congratulations, good job! Now you can farm and never get the legendary biscuits with electric damage that you want. Yippee! Because why would you need electric damage anyway, right? Right? What the? 
Ew, ew, what is... Ew. Oh, what is that? No. No. What is that? No, no. Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> what is that, brother? Ew. Mango? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh well. Oh, that will be it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. This took quite some time to take put together. A lot of these runs were actually my first tries, hence why my stamina was all over the place. But hey, if your video gets out, that's what matters. And if I help you, that's also what matters. But you can help me by maybe subscribing or leaving a like on the video. That will be very appreciated. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, goodbye and see you in the next video, bye bye!